Hello students, we are learning the lesson factorization and let us see the expression of the form x square plus a plus b whole square into x plus a b. Let us see how to solve this. There is a question there, a square plus 10 a plus 24. Okay, we will see how to solve it. The first step is to write down the expression that is given in the question. That is a square plus 10 a plus 24. Now what do we have to do? We have to break the second term into two factors of 24 such that when we add it we should be getting 10. Alright, I'll repeat. We have to split 10 into two factors of the third term, that is 24, so that when we add it, we should be getting the value present in the second term. Okay, you can take it as two factors of 24. When we add it, we should be getting the value of the second term. Or you can understand it the other way you have to split 10 into two values which will be the two factors of the third term that is 24 and when you add those two terms or two values you should be getting the second value in this question it is 10 okay I hope you understand this now two factors of 24 when we add to get 10 or when we split 10 into two values which will be the two factors of 24 okay they will be 6 and 4 6 fours are 24 right these are the two factors of 24 now we have chosen 6 and 4 the reason behind it why we have chosen 6 and 4 is because when we add these two values we will get the value of the second term right that is 10 that is the reason why we have chosen or we have selected the two factors 6 and 4 and when we add them okay I'm saying also when we subtract it because suppose you have a negative second term then you will have to subtract it for example like 5 plus minus 2 right that would be plus into minus so 5 minus 2 for example right so when we add these two factors we should be getting the value of second term which is 10 in this question so 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 remember that we have to use the same values if you have chosen the factors as 6 and 4 right 6 4 is 24 we'll have to use the same values to add to get the second term now a square plus 6a plus 4a you remember that 6 and 4 are the factors right a will be common for both so we write the expression as a square plus 6a plus 4a plus 24. Let me write it on the right hand side so that you remember it. 6 4 is 24 and 6 plus 4 is 10. Now what is our next step? Our next step is to group them. Okay. So the first group is a square plus 6a and the common there is a. a into a is a square plus a into 6 will be 6a. Plus the common in the second group will be 4. 4 into a will be 4a plus 4 6 are 24. Right, it's quite easy. I hope you have understood it. Let us write down the common pairs that is a plus 6 
we will write it as 1 set a plus 6 into a plus 4 separated by brackets a plus 6 into bracket into a plus 4 in brackets a plus 6 in brackets into a plus 4 in brackets this is the answer I hope you have understood it now let us see the second question that is x square minus 3ax minus 88a square let's see how to solve it the first step is to write down the given expression that is x square minus 3ax minus 88a square okay you remember the steps right what we have to do to split the second value we have to find two terms right or we can say that we have to find two factors of the third term that is 88 and when we add those two values we should be getting the value the second term that is minus 3 all right the two factors of 88 that we have chosen is 11 and 8 because the third term is minus 88 so we write it as minus 11 into 8 okay and the second step is to add these two terms which is minus 11 plus 8 now when we add these two terms minus 11 plus 8 we will get it as minus 3 11 minus 8 is 3 and the symbol of the bigger number is minus now you have to understand here that we have taken the negative value in 11 why because when we add it we will be getting minus as the sum so let me write down these two terms so that you will remember this minus 11 and 8 minus 11 and 8 okay and let us write down the expression once again x square minus 11 ax plus 8 ax minus 88 a square ax of the second term will be common for both the factors that is 11 and 8 we will group them now the common in the first group is x so x into x get it as x square minus x into 11 a we get it as 11 a x plus what is common the second group 8 is common 8 a to be more exact All right 8 a x will be 8 a x minus 8 into 11 is 88 and 8 a a into a will be a square so 8 a into 11 a will be 88a square we will write down the common pairs that is x minus 11a in brackets and x plus 8a in brackets so we have found the answer for this expression I hope you have understood this. You can go back through the video and see it again and keep practicing.